everyone and welcome back to Cara's Tidbits. Today we are doing something. Yeah, you know what we're doing. So I realised I needed some buckets. So in one of these are buckets, probably in several because we know what Wilco packaging's like. There's probably a bucket in each one. Um, and I thought everyone would love to see my purchases. Purchases, maybe. I think everyone loves the troll bridge you built at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! Right. This one obviously wants to be unboxed. What does everyone think it is? See how prepared I am today. Right back with these because I told them to leave them in my porch and I got rang once. No, sorry. My doorbell rang twice. They knocked twice. They rang my phone and then they had a conversation about what to do with them before leaving them stacked precariously in my porch as I'd asked. But we have a watering tray, grow bag tray, I'm just literally going to use it as a watering tray, possibly out the front. I also have immediately lost my scissors. Um, I also have been instructed not to destroy these boxes too much because someone wants them. You know the annoying, the the annoying, yeah, the annoying other sisters. They like to be called annoying. I don't think he realizes that they're not proper lids on them though. Nonetheless, I need to open everything a little bit more carefully. So bear, please bear with me. Oh, a load of bubble wrap. Is there a garden use for bubble wrap or is it just fun? I could probably use it to create a little frame or something, but I got another propagator! Mm. Remember I've been complaining that I lost my windowsill tray? Yeah. Someone lost my windowsill tray. I think it might have blown off or been nicked or something because no one's accepting responsibility for having it. So, it comes with the tray, which fits on my windowsills quite nicely, and then there's the little seed trays. The other seed trays we've been using already are very similar yeah, to the seed trays. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're good if you want to sow quite a few things. I normally use them for flowers and then prick them out. Wait, that was all that was in that box? Yeah, yeah. They are ridiculous. Yeah. I could put that in a carrier bag. Bad luck. <laughs> Three buckets. Now what I'm going to do with these, there is a, like a bucket challenge somewhere, but what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to drill holes in the bottom. Potatoes. Yeah, that's a good idea. They're 14 litres, so that's kind of good. I'm a little bit perturbed by there being three in the box, but nonetheless. Oh no, cup of tea down, cup of tea down. <laughs> no, I forgot to drink my tea. I think I have a cup of coffee over there as well. Yeah, but you drink it cold. Mm. You're a freak of nature. In more ways than one. Yeah, these are really difficult to... Save? Yeah. That first one was a different style of box. <laughs> I'm supposed to be going careful today because I've exhausted myself already. I'm waking up. Can you guess what's in this one? I'm going to say buckets. <laughs> no. A bucket. With no packaging, just a bucket. 
Is it a super, super heavy bucket? No, that's, I mean, I'm surprised it didn't get damaged. It's just a bucket in there. Sort it out, Wilco. You guess it's in this one. The other bucket. <laughs> Two buckets. You don't know how many buckets I've got, do you? Six. Three buckets. Seven. We're saving the heavy one to last. Now I predict, because there is some plants in here, I predict the plants will be in the heaviest box under everything. Who agrees with me there? Yeah, these boxes are impossible to save. Sorry, they're not designed to be saved. No. Probably, they're probably designed to be recycled, which is ironic considering how rubbish their packaging is. Three buckets. So we've got three buckets in each box and then one bucket in one box. Maybe they have a rule of only putting threes in. They could have put the bucket they knew they could have put the bucket in another box. Well this one where everything else is. And I can't remember what I've bought. Actually I bought some house stuff as well, so that'll be fun. You'll get to see what weird stuff. If I, if we do a random edit, I've bought something really weird. <laughs> but you can't really get that weird off your phone. Can you? Do you want me to come in over the top on this one? Three little pots. Some water resistant plasters. Yeah, you want to just come and look in here. Oh. Wow. Just Those got... are the little trough things for the pots. Mm -hmm. I got some new sheets. Ooh. pillowcases to match the sheets. But aren't they a lovely colour? Are they a fuchsia? No. These are supposed to keep one, look at the colour. Mm. These are supposed to keep everything hot or cold for up to 15 hours. Okay, that can be useful for like the allotment. That's what I thought. Mm. Also that colour is perfectly you. Because it's difficult when I go to the allotment and normally the um Normally, yeah, stuff. Yeah. That's little troughs for those. Because I thought they'd be nice in the greenhouse, maybe with some herbs or maybe some chilies, peppers in. Are they like a longer, are they like a longer version of the grey pots you've got down there? Yeah, yeah. And I bought you, but I can buy the you there. You can buy these separately. Okay. To go with the pots, I think they're like one twenty-five, and the. Like two twenty-five or something like that. It worked out about three pounds for each one, three four pounds for each one, something like that. And it just creates a nice little reservoir, hmm. a bigger tape measure. It's very even. I can read numbers on it. Now this tape is the Wilco multi-purpose tape. But I use it around the allotment. It's actually really strong. I use it around the house. It's really good, and it's quite cheap. Slug tape or snail to be honest because it's got little spiky bits to deter snails because snails are even trickier than slugs okay i don't think i could get as many as i wanted of these i think i've got two of them <laughs> bamboo cup oh that's ooh. better because it oh it's a twist top yeah with a little, it's got a little sleeve. Mm. But also it can be my allotment mug. And then the other one, because I know when I've gone down with the other assistant, he's not had a cup. Mm. So. Yes, he, no, he's got one as well. Not this one, obviously, because no, this, no. is, this is the gardener's mug. He can have the assistant mug. He can have the assistant mug. And you can have your weird geek mug. Geeks. Right. So I just got maybe a couple of just a couple of plants. Asparagus, don't know why. Already have asparagus, but don't have that sort and kill the load off at one year. Asparagus, just the four. More than if you like, because I'm nearly out. Mm -hmm. More dahlias that I didn't actually realise I'd already got. 
And they're the exact same. They are the exact same ones. I put the. I looked at my old shop. I did not see these. So, but they're so pretty. Hmm. They're so pretty. Which ones are they? Pretty. Pretty. Okay. They're called Perfect Match. Aww. Aww. Or that's the collection set, but if you look, they're like, they're quite pretty. But yeah, I did just plan to pot some of these up yesterday. Depending on which way around I'm doing the videos, if not, it'll be tomorrow. <laughs> okay, another thingy. This will be exciting for you. Look, look, it's drill bits! Yeah. So you can all... Have fun watching me break drill bits again. Specifically, I got them so you can see me break them. I haven't broke any yet. Uh, a little short, but um, they'll do for things. Mm -hmm. Echinacea. What's echinacea? Ooh, okay. The echinacea in there. Where the hell is the echinacea? Oh, yeah, there we are. Okay. So they're that they're called cone flowers, but these are a white variety. Okay, they look almost really hmm? they're like daisies. Yeah, they're really good for pollinators. Okay. Well, we saw our first bee yesterday, didn't we? Or well, my first bee of the summer. Aquilegia, which I don't know why I'm buying Aquilegia because I've just grown a load, but look at the colour of it. Oh, that's gorgeous. Barlow Black. Okay. Gypsophila. That's the stuff that you often see in bouquets, otherwise known as baby's breath. It's oh, okay. often in wedding bouquets because yeah. it's got a mass of little flowers. Flowers like that. I told you about my vermiculite, didn't I? Did I tell you about my vermiculite? We have vermiculite, more of it. And then we have some gladioli. That type? Ooh, pretty. And that type. Oh, well, they're very pretty. And that is everything. I believe, unless I've forgotten something, but that seems about right. Any questions? For me. Anyone? Any, does anyone have any questions? No. <laughs> does anyone have any questions? Um, thank you very much for watching. If you want to see what I bought last at Wilco, there'll be a link somewhere. If you want to look at my other videos, please do so. And remember to subscribe. Bye for now. I forgot something. And I know someone will be very pleased because then they can have their own pair back. I've got a pair of pliers. Yay! Oh, and they're quite hefty. They're like a pound. One yeah. pound twenty-five. Okay. Got some pliers. They're not as good as the old pairs of pliers you get, but... They'll do.